So, of course, CJ the Champ had to release this video. <laughs> The weekend I'm going to New York Comic Con, so, <laughs> so by the time I'm uploading this and watch, re, doing my reaction, to, I'm going to be uploading this late, because this is going to be like after I just come back from New York Comic Con, so this is the reason I'm going to have a late upload compared to most people reacting to this, of course, so just thought I'd put that, point that in there, so yeah, <laughs> uh, of course, just the time of the CJ, why did you have to visit just as I had to go to New York, man, why, <laughs> oh boy, so, we finally got the second uh, part to the Trial of the Shredder. Specifically, this one is called the Demonic Trial of the Tengu Shredder. So, oh boy. So, I find this one funny because this takes me back to, this is, for the matter what I remember, this was actually the original Shredder from the 2000s uh, Ninja Turtle series. Uh, this is the one, you know, the, the one that the Ultram Shredder based himself upon all. Based himself off of, and then you know, you know, it, it was a whole debacle. I don't remember that much in detail, but I remember this one was a lot more terrifying, especially because he had mystical powers and everything, and also because this he was part of he was the main shredder from uh, from when C when four kids were on CW were doing the Teenage New, New Mutant Ninja Turtles the Lost Episode series. Excuse me, you know that whole storyline. Yeah, that, that specifically that shredder was for that storyline for you know was the lost episodes. I remember that was so well because that was basically the you know that whole storyline series where they basically just all became dragons, which was amazing. <laughs> That's why I remember it so well because towards the end they had an epic dragon fight and killed that shredder. So it always made me think back. Well, why do I remember? Wait, what? If they kill that shredder? How, why did he come back? I was like, alright, oh, different Shredder. Because there was, two, there was two different Shredders in the series. Not including the Shredder's daughter, of course, who's completely different. But, you know, we had the Ultram Shredder, the alien one, and then we had the one that became a demon. Which is, uh, I remember, yeah, I remember which was this one. Yeah. And I can't wait to see what CJ's gonna unfold, unfold for this one. And how she's gonna tell us how <laughs> terrible this one is. It's 25 minutes, so yeah. Don't remember much about it, but it's gonna be great to have a refresh for this one. I remember a good chunk of it, not all of it though. But anyways, I'm gonna shut up and get to watching here. Mm. Demonic. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another <laughs> installment chicken. of the Shredder Trials, and our yep. next challenger has approached to be judged for the prestigious mm. honor of having a seat at the round table. And that next challenger is none other mm -hmm. than the demonic Avengers level threat. Yep, the Tengu, Shredder. The Tengu Shredder. We ain't gonna waste no. It's still kind of funny. There's two different versions he's doing, but this case we're doing. Two ver two versions of Shredder that were from the same series because there was two different versions, which I always find was thought was funny, uh, from you know coming from the two thousands Ninja Turtle series, which is still my favorite by the way. I'm just saying, man, I was I still think it's peak. Oh Tom, without further ado, it is time to continue the Shredder, the Shredder Trials. trials. It is a bit a. Yep, that's his demon Yo, form. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, the Shredder from Hell. From hell. Now, oh. the Tengu Shredder is from the depths of Hell. Okay, I did not remember that part, actually. I knew he was demonic, but I don't remember he was actually from Hell. Ooh, well, knowing them at the time, and you know, for it being a kid's show, they wouldn't say it outright, of course, of course. I know some of y'all niggas gotta be shook. Cause first we talked about an alien, an alien. And now we're talking about a demon. I know some of y'all probably thought Shredder was just a human. Well, I mean the next trial we will be talking about the human version. But yeah, that's yeah, a different one. one. Though, yeah, get ready to strap in. I know side note, man, it's always crazy to think both these versions of Shredder from the 2000s, mind you, who I still think are the most terrifying versions we got, of course, are not human versions. <laughs> well, this one I believe technically was then he became a demon yeah that's a whole mess don't remember the exact details but cj here will refresh me so to understand all of this we have to go back all the way to 300 a.d now hmm. as we can see this village is burning and people are running for their lives because they are under attack by a tengu that was called the shredder, shredder. the original shredder yep yeah. This big ass Godzilla looking motherfucker <laughs> is the original Shredder that yep. came from the depths of hell to wreak havoc on Earth. And look at it. 
was fire. Extra crispy. <laughs> this demon just wreaked havoc and destroyed everything in his path. So yeah, Japan can never take a break from kaijus, even before Godzilla. To stop the Shredder, the Emperor of Japan gathered the five greatest warriors in the world. And of those warriors, one of them was none other oh, than man. the original Oroku Saki. Saki. Yes, Utram Shredder stole this whole nigga's flow to gain yep. respect and have a higher place in society. That's what he reached, uh, based of his, based of his, uh, look upon. Which I always thought was weird. It's like, is this man immortal? I was like, oh. No, these are two different guys, okay. That makes sense to me. So these great warriors were given sacred armor, and they set out to That looked like Shredder armor. armor. Before that battle even starts, we gotta pump the brakes, because look at this shit. That is a whole village over there that has been burnt down and destroyed. And by my calculations, those villagers are 99.9% .9 dead. I mean, let's be mm. real. It's a demon. He probably snatched all <laughs> damn souls. But anyways, Most the likely, warriors yeah. pull up on Shredder and oh. immediately start to get watched. They still Ouch. Ass. Look Ouch. at this dude and his poor horse. Shredder winded up his fist all the way to the heavens. And, <laughs> and then they slapped, slapped him. <laughs> and look at him right here. Blood try to hit him with a mace and chain him up around this tree. But the demon said, oh. Ouch. Straight up squash that nigga. Ouch! And you see the blood too. To give this demon a fight was none other than Oroku Saki. Exactly. Now yep. Saki was actually able to damage him. He was so strong he was able to. That's crazy. The demon's arm and actually break I'll, it. I'll question how strong so he was, like but then again, kids show, so we don't question it. Saki told mm -hmm. him, go back to the hell from which you came from, demon. But right before he was about to give the killing blow. The demon invaded his mind, and he started to seduce this man. So the mm -hmm. Shredder made him a offer. He told him, Ah, oh, great warrior, I can give you everything that you desire. Money, power, bitches. bitches <laughs> Especially bitches! Across the world. <laughs> So, after hearing the demon's offer, Saki took the deal. He sold yep. his soul. So he destroyed the body of the demon to make Basically it like he it. defeated him. But in all actuality, mm. the demon merged with him. And Oroku Saki became the host of the Shredder. So they yeah, returned the to Shredder. Yamato. Yep. And they were welcomed back with a party by the Emperor and all of the people. So the Emperor is up here praising them. Giving them the glory, the honor, and all yeah. the glaze. But little did he and everybody else know that the worst was yet to come. Because later on, right after the ceremony, Saki, or no, let me rephrase that. The Shredder came back to Yamato surrounded by demons and destroyed the whole place, massacring everybody. Ah, damn. So, um... The Emperor? Yeah, that nigga yeah, is dead. dead. Over time, Which was he just fucked. Punched the entire world into darkness. Nobody could stop this nigga. Not even armies. They all failed. He became the world's most feared warlord. And on top of that, he was a Avengers level threat. It was hopeless. This War was crime. the Demon King that all the Isekai protagonists are summoned to come defeat. So <laughs> dead ass. Dead ass. When you think of Isekais, anyone who watches anime, that's what it basically comes down to. <laughs> He's that type he's that type of villain. <laughs> One way to stop this demon king shredder. The four other ninjas that used to be his teammates had to learn mystic arts so they of could course. ascend to godhood because that yeah. was the only way they were going to be able to stop. Yeah. Him. So yeah. Ascend to godhood later, to defeat a demon. They finished training. I mean, it does make sense. Gods, they went to confront their old friend. Now, as we can see, the Shredder, or should I call him Oroku Hefner, is having a good old time with his bitches. The royal penis <laughs> is clean, your highness. Until the four dragon warriors bust up in his <laughs> Grill. So obviously this man Shredder was pissed. He told him, "Oh, you cock blocking motherfuckers! We were just <laughs> about to get to the good part." Yep. Saki, you betrayed <laughs> us. Your best friends. Oh, for what, Saki? For a taste of pussy? Hey, don't act like I was in the wrong. Hanging out with you, pussyless fools, was never going to get me laid. So Shredder. I mean, it could have. It could have. Dude, you were like the best warrior out of all of them. Hell, you basically 
killed him. You could have if you didn't take the deal. And you mean to tell me you couldn't have gotten it? I'm just saying. Seemed kind of easy for you. Tax them, but the four dragons were ready because with their mystic arts, they were able to keep up with them. So they Ooh. actually ended up knocking this man down. You didn't see that one coming now, did you? It. So the Shredder decided it was time to release his full power. So this man transforms into a dragon. A dragon. Yep. <laughs> this was wild. You had to think, oh, these niggas are about to get cooked. But then you gotta remember, yeah, nah. oh, wait, these they can are also gods too. So they can transform into dragons too. <laughs> Dragon avatars as well. So it was yeah. time for the final boss battle with the world yeah. at stake. A and mind you, Deterrence would do this in the finale for this little storyline here. <laughs> Big ass dragon battle. So the motherfucking Green Ranger hits him from the back and smashes him in the ground. But this man got up and used super explosive wave, sending everybody mm -hmm. flying. The Yellow Ranger got flung all the way into a mountain. And oh mm -hmm. my God, look what he did to the Green Ranger. Nigga grabbed her neck and planted her in the ground. Then he threw her so hard and destroyed the whole castle. But the oh, four shit. dragons were persistent. Even though they was getting mm -hmm. their ass whooped and getting bitch slapped, they kept on jumping them. So then the Yellow mm -hmm. Ranger ends up turning into Kung Lao. Nigga threw his hat and it turned into a shuriken, cutting off both of his hands. Then they started Ooh. using key blasts to seal this man's spirit. So he ended up running out of key for his transformation yeah. and ended up falling all the way down to the ground. And survived. The reign of terror was finally over. Mm. For so now. The four dragons came up with for a now. plan because they knew they couldn't kill him because this man was an entity. Death would not hold this man back. So mm -mm. they decided for now, to anyway. seal him so he would never resurrect. So these four ninjas ended up becoming the legendary ninja tribunal and their mm. whole purpose was to watch over this man's casket and to train warriors if this man ever resurrected and they did this for 1700 years. Ah so damn, every I'm guessing learning those mystical arts made you immortal too, huh? I want to think about that. Yeah, makes me wish that would make me immortal. Everything seemed all fine and dandy. Until his acolytes broke in, stole his casket, and resurrected him. Dumbasses. Well, I mean, maybe I need to go back to this. If someone can correct me here. Because he never went over that. Like, how does this man have acolytes, is my question. How? Over Yeah, it's been a long time since I watched the last episodes, uh, for this, for this specific storyline. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, of course, every villain needs to have acolytes or henchmen to do this type of stuff for him. Especially if they have to wait over a century for it. <laughs> Trials. Uh, exhibit A wrap up. Multiple mass murders. Property mm -hmm. damage. Arson, Multiple yep. attempted murders. Criminal mischief. Treason of the highest order. War crimes. War crimes. Legit exhibit war crimes. B. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B. Dark resurrection. Mm. So, where well, you get I resurrected in present day? A, the Shredder's mystic acolytes broke into the tribunal's temple and stole the Shredder's casket so they could resurrect him. So now we go back to present day New York, and his acolytes are performing the ritual in the Chrysler building. I know this man, Spider Man Mad, doing this <laughs> satanic shit on his turf. So, to resurrect the yep. Shredder, they had to recite these words and say it in unison. What are you about to say? <laughs> You yeah, really do it just doing the voiceover <laughs> of Mickey Mouse summoning his clubhouse from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse series. <laughs> uh honestly, no, I I, I give it that. that's actually funny as hell to do as a as a replacement line. <laughs> Just demon so summoning Mickey the Mouse. Speech to summon the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, the Shredder arose from the dead, and his body was completely rebuilt into the form of a demon. And his aura was so strong, he blew the place up. So once Dang. the acolytes knew this man was back, they instantly started glazing. This nigga Shredder was <laughs> on some Roman Reigns shit. The first thing mm -hmm. he said out the casket was, Acknowledge me! Oh, yes, me lord! So Shredder <laughs> was itching to do some bad things. Already? The man's been sealed for 1,700 years. But mm -hmm. also, the acolytes told him about the Utram Shredder. Oh, yeah, the other one. impersonated him for years. And even though Utram Shredder isn't here anymore... Well, for now.
this man would basically come back after this whole storyline was over because, of course, we had the finale with, you know, the whole multiverse team-up. So, of course. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. I almost forgot about that for a second. I don't know why. Karai became the new Shredder. So this man was lit and immediately attacked his acolytes. And bro was yelling at him and telling him, How dare you let those bum-ass niggas tarnish my name? Oh, oh, master, we, we apologize. So the first thing on this man's <laughs> They couldn't do shit to that Shredder, though. That's why. Headquarters. And while he was on the way, he decided to cause mayhem. Nigga was floating mm. down the streets. And like he's Dormammu. Everything, causing mm. multiple car crashes, blowing up newspaper stands, <laughs> vandalizing Ouch. that one statue outside of, of the Rockefeller Center. And my God, this was the worst one. He let this motherfucker right here burn alive what the in a car. Fuck? I didn't even know. Four kids, by the way. Yeah, right, right. Mind you, this is showing up four kids. And this, the type of shit they showed you in the, in the 2000s, man, at, in these kids shows, man, it was a time to live in. Like, sometimes they wouldn't be afraid to get this dark, you know, compared to cartoon shows, you know, afterwards. Well, the 2010s, 50-50, especially today, you don't see that as much anymore, unfortunately. But, man, that was, <laughs> they did a lot of shit that was really dark. It was like, how they show this on these kids shows? Especially on four kids, mind you. Four kids. The same studio <laughs> that freaking censored, you know, One Piece and some and the Yu-Gi-Oh series. They censored some of the stuff in there. And a little bit of Pokemon too. But they censored that stuff. <laughs> but they showed this shit in Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. That's why I loved being in the 2000s kids, man. They showed shit like this and it was a time to have good cartoons. So Shredder arrives at Foot Clan HQ and doesn't even decide to use the door that's clearly right there. Nah, he just blows a massive hole open. So a massive amount of foot ninjas come up and try to ambush him. And they can't do shit to him. A hundred bodies in just five seconds. Mm -hmm. Because he immediately blows up the entire area, killing damn near every foot ninja in the blast radius. And it went so quick, he was disappointed. Shredder <laughs> looked at their corpses and said, You call yourselves ninja? Pathetic. With the fries in the bag. So then the Foot Clan Ooh. deploys every single mech that they have to try to stop him. And that won't do shit either. Getting eviscerated on the spot. And mm -hmm. just look at this carnage, bro. They stood no chance. Nigga right nah. here got folded like an omelet. So Shredder proceeded to get all the way to the top floor. And he is immediately met by the elite guard. The same elite guard that put Leonardo in a coma. Oh, for shit. Week. Really? And you know what he does to these guys? I don't remember that he part. He uses the force to grab their weapons. Then just flings it at them one Ooh. shot. Again. The Foot Clan elites got one shot by this man. Uh, Tells you a lot about how powerful he is. Last people to try to stop him were these recon ninja trying to seal him, but this did not work. That didn't work either. Because this man just breaks out of what they tried to seal him in and brutally snatches their souls. He left their bodies a empty husk. So Shredder was losing patience. He yelled, Karai! Bring your bitch ass out here! So Karai mm. comes out in her Shredder armor and she is not having this. She told this <laughs> man, Okay, first of all, boo boo, I'ma need you to lower that tone. Rolling up on my turf on some bullshit. Nigga, who the fuck you think you is? The Shredder? I'm a psychologist, nigga. You don't think I can read? Right through your phony ass. Newsflash, old nigga. <laughs> I'm in charge now. So now it do got me questioning what would have happened if we saw the Utram Shredder against the Tengu Shredder here. Now that is something I would have loved to see. Now that is something I'd love to see. Karai tries to attack him, but Bro immediately grabs her and throws her into a gun. And Shredder will speak out. Yeah, the <laughs> saying, Oh yeah. Bro grabbed her and threw her across the room again. Double out. This nigga did not come to play games. So no. I had to pull out her trump card. She pulled out some holy water and threw it on the wall. And she <laughs> always works on a demon. Him. She had this man scrambling. So then she yeah. picks him on the wall and stabs him right in the gut. Ooh. And Bro falls to his knees. And it looks like her eyes won. Mm. Oh my god, this was some f***ed up shit this man did. He's... I think I remember this part. She played my... He played mind games with her and pretended to show her you know, what her dad looked like. And then went all deep and went all demon on her. <laughs> yeah, that was really fucked up. Especially, you know, again, in a kid's show. <laughs> 
falls off. And he just looks at her. Mm -hmm. And her emotions yep. start to get the best of her. Just she like I remember. Space and she's like, Daddy? Yep. Oh, my sweet child. So she comes down to try to help him because she thinks this is her dad. But he but turns his face back into a demon and just yep. starts laughing at her. She is yep. legit traumatized. And bro just gets Indeed. up and rips the sword out of his stomach. Nigga said, Foolish little girl, you thought this weak shit would kill me? So he turns the sword into a snake and just has it chase her around while he's just watching and laughing the whole time she's running for her life. This is a sick nigga. So then he comes out and drop kicks her and she ends up running into a pole and the snake wraps her up. So before he's about to deliver the final strike, he's giving her a choice of, do you want to die by my claws or my serpent's fangs? Choose wisely now. So when he's going in for the kill, she makes a hard read yeah. and ducks this man. And he ends up cutting off Good read, Karai. So Shredder lost all his patience. He grabbed her and just threw her on the wall. And bro floated up to her and told her, you dare call yourself Shredder? You fucking fraud. Take this shit off. So he rips off her armor, and then Ooh. he probably said the wildest line in this entire show. In his exact words, I quote, After mm -hmm. looking at you, perhaps I should let you live after all. You would make a fine slave. I do not remember that line. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Damn. <laughs> Again, these shredders were evil. <laughs> well, this one's a demon, so of course he's gonna say some, some heinous shit like this. My god. <laughs> Robot Nick. reminder that this was on 4Kids, by the way. Right! Right! <laughs> the shit that they sometimes say in show during that time. You wouldn't think to show this in the 2000 skit show. But again, we loved it. Like I always say, it was a great time growing up in the 2000s as a kid for these reasons. So the turtles finally pull up with yep. some new mystical abilities that they got from training with the tribunal. And this shredder mm. has never met these turtles yet. So he was confused. He was like, mm. talking turtles. The fuck are you supposed to be, nigga turtles? <laughs> so shredder said to hell with it. It's time to pull out my ultimate technique. So this man floats up. And says the main expansion. Yep, I remember. Yeah, I mean that's what it basically was. This man basically had a domain expansion. Yes, this shredder has a domain expansion, and it is broken because his domain expansion allows him to raise every single enemy he's killed from the dead. So all those yeah. people he killed during his conquest back in 300 AD, yeah, he could bring them right back up. Along. Yeah. So anyone who's watched Helsing Ultimate, and remember the part when Alucard returned and basically just went, you know, level zero, and some of the huge ass army of all the, you know, all the souls of all the people he's basically absorbed and drinking their blood and souls for. Think of it like this, but in a domain expansion. But this time, this Shredder. Could just keep bringing them back, even if they, even if they just kill them. That's how fucking busted it was. Along with other creatures from the Nether Realm, so he has them attack everybody, and they can't do nothing because every time they take one out, they just rise back up. Like I said, because they're basically zombies. They're basically, you know, you know, more busted version of the Dry Bones. Like if you play the Mario games, like who hasn't played a Mario game? You play against those Dry Bones, you knock them down, they come back up. That's what they basically were. Here comes Karai again, but she got a new toy. She got a holy water sword. So she starts clashing swords with Shredder. And she actually ends up landing a hit. But this just wouldn't do shit. Because he walked her down and cut her sword in half. Like nothing so too. He walked her down and had his undead grab her and hold her in place. So he is about to kill her. But Karai's boyfriend, Dr. Chaplin, shoots this nigga with a holy water Yeah, it made you question where the fuck he's been this whole time up, up but until this now. Did nothing. This man yep. was truly immortal. He started laughing and just regenerated. So That's he what looked demons at do. her boyfriend and said, Oh, I get it. Is this your girl, nigga? Well, if it is, congratulations. Because you have a front row seat of me blowing your bitch back out. Oh, damn. Ouch. To be honest with you, I don't know how the hell Karai survived this. Yeah, it's a good question. I just go down the same. 
plot. She had the power of plot on her side for that. Even though she shouldn't have survived this because it looked like Shredder basically looked like she sliced her in half. I mean, he sliced her in half. And she looks fine afterwards, so... No explanation? Other than just, just plot. But whatever. We still need Karai. At least she's fine. I don't. She should be dead. Dead as hell. So she right. Blows everybody off the roof, and the turtles and everybody got to retreat. This battle was hopeless. They got they ass beat. Karai got put in a coma and lost all the drip. She has no sauce. But you know where she mm. can get that drip back at? She can get that sauce back on CJ. <laughs> with that two mil merch. Link in the description. Nice. She By the way, congratulations on the two mil. On the shredder trials. I mean, it's not. I mean, you gotta, you gotta show off your T-shirts. You gotta make you know, a little bit of money off it. Come on, CJ. You, you got people that want to support you, and they want to support you. Go buy your shirts. Exhibit B wrap up. Attempted murder. 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 Arson. <laughs> Arson. Mischief. Mass murder. murder. Assault. Vehicular manslaughter. manslaughter. Oh yeah. Exhibit C. C. Yeah, the finale where we get to see them fight as dragons. It is now time for our final exhibit. <laughs> exhibit C. Hell on Earth. On Earth. So oh. after Shredder brutalized and destroyed the Foot Clan in a night, he decided it's time to take over New York. So he mm -hmm. makes his way over to the mayor's house. And instead of walking through the door like a civilized citizen, this man decides to break through the roof so he could fly in. Like any other supervillain would. So the mayor was terrified while Shredder was up here floating and saying, This is what you deserve for those foolish tax cuts, you fat fool. So he <laughs> this man up and throws him to the side of the wall. Which, big ouch. That man's back has got to be broken. He threw him so hard, he made a dent in the wall. And that man is not the fuck out. So you just assaulted a government official, broke his back, and the way his head landed, he probably just gave him Antonio Brown levels of CTE. Ah! So it was time for Shredder to enact this plan. He started using his domain expansion to transform the entire city into hell on earth. It was complete chaos. Some people even got hit and got their soul snatched and turned into an undead monster. And to make sure it covered everything, this man transformed back into, into his a, yeah, back into dragon, dragon. and spread it out his domain all the way throughout the entire city. And when he was done, he turned the entire city into hell. Yep. There is a fucking volcano in Times Square. <laughs> Look at the Statue of Liberty. What the hell is that? And Shredder was a dragon to stop here. He was going to spread his domain across the entire planet, but he needed time to rest before he could do it. So the Ninja Turtles mm. and everybody had to come up with a plan, and that was to form the Avengers. They had to no dead ass. They had to form every ally they had to go up against the Tengu Shredder. They even got the superheroes that they had a superhero group that were similar to the Avengers and Justice League in, in this show, towards the second half of their 2000 series. Join up with them as well. Just saying. So they had to gather every ally and good guy left that they had to, you know, for basically a final assault on Tengu Shredder here. To get other acolytes from the tribunal, Agent Bishop mm -hmm. and Dr. Stockman uh -huh. from- Yeah, they're still around. You forgot about them, didn't we? <laughs> Their shadow organization, every superhero in the city, and in Karai with including whatever April. was left with the foot. So they yep. all go to Shredder's stronghold <laughs> and start- I do find it funny that Jerry also including just- uh, a kazoo version of, you know, the Avengers sweep from the movie. <laughs> good touch, CJ, good touch. To assault the base. So after they had to fight through floors of monsters and kill the Shredder's mystic acolytes, they yeah, finally bye -bye, guys. reached his throne room and he welcomed them in because he wanted to kill them personally because all of, of them were trained by the tribunal, the people that sealed him to begin with. But before he was about to attack, Karai pulled out some mystic ninjutsu to start draining this man's power. So this actually ends up knocking him down because they finally found a weakness against this man. So yep. this big just taking his power away walks up the bro's body and kicks him and he's like, <laughs> nigga, you ain't shit. You should know never to do that. It never ends well for anybody. But then again, does it ever.
compared to Master Sherelle. <laughs> Nigga, you trash. But Hun celebrated too soon. Yep. Shredder grabbed this man, floated up and told him, How dare you put your lowly monkey feet on my drip, nigga? You should focus on fixing that bagged up ass hairline of yours. <laughs> <laughs> so the final battle finally started. Bootleg Superman Silver Century tried to I mean he was got blocked immediately and, and just got thrown off into the, in the ceiling. My god, your headlines even worse. When did the Vegeta start coming in fashion? Yeah. It's just roasting people's hairline. God knows where. Nigga hit him with the team rocket special. <laughs> yeah, true. Anytime you see someone get thrown off like that in the distance, was that was that was them zooming all the way out? That's what you can basically call it. <laughs> the Team Rocket blasting off again. Ah, uh, Team Rocket. How we miss them. So this man charges up a massive key blast and blasts everybody outside of the stronghold and starts coming at them at full speed on a demon horse with a trident. So this man tries to impel Raphael, but he ended yeah. up dodging it and he ends up getting surrounded by all eight of the acolytes trained right. by the tribunal. But he well, they would get their asses that kicked. He was about to get jumped. Matter yeah. of fact, he <laughs> was filled with joy. He wanted this <laughs> shit. So Raphael is the first one to attack, along with the bride from Kill Bill. But he throws Raphael in the shorty. Mm -hmm. Then here comes Hanzo. He gets washed and thrown to the side. Ouch. Just like, like nothing. Garbage. <laughs> ah shit. R.I.P. Overwatch. Fun fact, you know, after they after the whole debacle was Overwatch 2 and them canceling, you know, the campaign and everything, I basically stopped playing it. And I have not basically played it since. Unfortunately. I loved Overwatch in the beginning. I got back into playing Overwatch 2 for a time, but then they, when they made changes and the false promises happened and all the other changes at Blizzard, I basically just stopped playing it. So, that was fun while it lasted, but it's a shame. I really loved Overwatch, but it became trash now. And plus, they, they nerfed Reinhardt, who was my main tank. Fuck you guys for that. So here comes Mikey from the other side, but he gets force choked, slammed on the ground, mm -hmm. then he got drugged, hit Donatello, oh. and they both got slammed on a tree with thorns. This man thorns. just hit a collateral. So then Leonardo and the last two dudes try to attack him, but they get hit by that Wukong and yep, didn't do shit. You see him get blown up in the distance. <laughs> he didn't even so see it on screen. Eight assault charges. And you know what? I saw this comment on my last video. You forgot to mention that these are teenage you right? Well, let's not ignore the fact these guys are teenagers and have to fight people like Shred on a daily. How could we forget these Ninja Turtles are still teenagers? <laughs> they don't feel like it, but they are. Again, not us, you know. Compared to today, they don't really look like teenagers like they used to back in the 90s and 2000s. And you know what? You're damn right. So guess what? We hitting that nigga with child abuse. <laughs> so Master Splinter runs over here and he's grieving over his sons. My sons! I remember they were showing this so much in the CW4 Kids promos a lot when they're going over the finale of the of you know the lost episodes here for this specific storyline. They were hyping this up, showing uh, Splinter is just grieving over his sons collapse and thinking he's they're probably dead. My sons! Uh, While the ancient one is behind him trying to comfort him, but gets attacked. He's hit with back shots. Mm -hmm. oh, no. So the Shredder is looking at Master Splinter, and all hope seems lost. But then the plot kicks in. Those amulets end up using the power of ass pool. Because <laughs> right? the of Hamato Yoshi... Like, where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> wounding this man's soul. All yeah. of his evil energy is... Like, legit, it just came out of nowhere. It just really came out of nowhere. It was an ass pool. But for the sake of the plot, we needed a way to defeat the Shredder and make put a stop to him. And this was the start of it. <laughs> leaking out of him so to repair himself he had to take down his domain expansion and absorb all of that energy and turn back into, into his dragon. dragon form and this is where we get the dragon fight at for the finale which was great the master splinter had to give these boys a pep talk he told mm -hmm. them oh my sons reach okay. deep into yourself on some bruce lee shit and enter the dragon <laughs> so these boys ended up manifesting mm -hmm. dragon avatars just like the tribunal did in 300 ad so which looked dope by the way i will say 
My favorite design was probably still Leonardo's design in, as, in dragon form. Well, the fate of the world all comes down to another dance of the dragons. So mm -hmm. they start pushing them, but they get Because we love dragons! But Leonardo lands a Kamehameha and puts his ass in the dirt. But this was not gonna stop him. Raphael nope. came in to get a bite just to get bitch slapped across New York. Damn, poor Raphael. <laughs> He's always getting the bitch slapped. God, people weren't on there. Then Donatello and Michelangelo take a double facial. Mm. Pause. <clears throat> um, okay. Leonardo's carrying this fight. In these buildings right now because if they are, they are dead. So Le I mean, to be fair, it's kind of the same way. Was of course they're not gonna show that. No one's ever in these buildings. They're in the abandoned buildings district, just like it was every Power Rangers Megazord fight. <laughs> Leonardo ended up taking himself out on that shoulder bash, and mm. Shredder got up and made his way to Karai because she was trying to use that dark magic shit oh, yeah. on him. Again. She was still so he flies this. down, and the first person he goes for is none other than Baxter <laughs> Stockman. Ouch. This man can't catch a break. And no, he can't. It, is, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they always got two things in common. Hating turtles and abusing Baxter Stockman. So he ends up eating this nigga, then calling Ouch. Dr. Chaplin again. So he is about to chow down on Karai. But Raphael and Donatello grab him. Coming in to snap. save the day. Mikey comes in with the spear. Plant mm. his big ass. And that gave Karai enough time to finish the ritual and zapping all of this man's dark energy. So they start jumping, playing ping pong with his ass. And it got yeah, so bad, he ended up losing his helmet and his gauntlet. And that oh, is even significant see. because that makes him a mortal being again. So Really? I... You know, I didn't even know about that part. I didn't even remember that. I just thought taking off his helmet just made him look cool. It didn't add any significance whatsoever other than just making him look menacing. That's all. But I guess it just exposes him for what he was. But then they just gave him the biggest ass whooping of the century. And it was very satisfying to see it. And he officially killed him. From the top rope and sits on him. Then after <laughs> pinning him down, their amulets end up manifesting the spirit of Hamato Yoshi again. Again! So this man Shredder was pissed. He was yelling at him like, No, I will not lose to some bullshit. This makes no fucking sense. <laughs> well... That's what happens when you have to go up against heroes with plot armor. <laughs> the plot will always kick in for the heroes at the end of the day, Shredder. I thought you would have known that. You are right. It doesn't make a lick of sense. But it doesn't matter. Because this is on four kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's also another point. <laughs> Mato Yoshi jumps up and freezes this nigga. Splitting him right down the middle. And just like that, he's dead. Officially. Conclusion. Yeah. All right, everybody. We now turn our attention to the board of charges. And my God, there's a lot. Look. Let's look at this. Let's say 16 assaults, five attempted murders, three arsons, a battery, two criminal mischief, four counts of child abuse, four counts of mass murder, which it ooh, murder, and uh, 12 on screen. Yep. I think that says 12. I can't see. A lot of property damage, of course. Trespassing, treason, terrorism, vehicular manslaughter, war crimes unknown, that's an unknown count, and a bonus, animal abuse. Yeah. Look at it! <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> nasty. A 12 on screen, okay. Multiple right. charges with multiple counts. I think it's yeah. safe to say another shredder, another seat at the table. This Jesus one was Christ. evil too, <laughs> and terrifying. Ridiculous. And mm -hmm. we still got one more to go. Yeah, and this one's gonna be on the 2012 Shredder. This is gonna, that one's gonna be interesting. And this last one, <laughs> he takes Hayton to another level. So, really? get out of here, I just gotta mm. thank y'all for two meal real quick. You're welcome, That's CJ. Insane. You're it's welcome. It's still so surreal to me, man, because yeah. I had no clue I would get this far. I was just well, doing this I'm shit glad you did. for fun and voila. But hey, man, <laughs> I wouldn't take Hey, but you can't entertain yourself for everybody. That's why we love reacting to your videos. So... Congrats, CJ. You deserve it. And you're entertaining yourself. And you're a talented writer for making us, you know, for making us laugh throughout your videos. What's your, what's your you know, what's the comparison to examples you make? <laughs> Just saying. Oh, man. Anything man, else? So I love every single one of y'all. And until we the love you final too. trial. The final trial. Yeah. The Shredder Trials. And this one's going to be a 2012 Shredder. That one's going to be interesting. So, I got a confession to make about that one. So, I know about the 2012 series of the Ninja Turtles, but the thing is, 
I have never watched it. I know. Shocking. I've never watched that one. I heard that trailer's good. That was a good show, too. I've never watched it. I probably should have, but I didn't. I kind of regret not watching it. But, so I don't know anything. But I will, I would love to learn how this shredder was. If he's saying he's taking hate to a whole nother level, then that's going to be shocking. And this was a human version of shredder. Definitely, you know, still looks menacing. So, imagine these two. They're not human versions of shredder. And then this one's a human version of shredder. How, how much more worse can he be? <laughs> Then these two versions of Shredder is my question. Again, I never watched this series, so I cannot wait to find out when he goes over the final trial for the 2012 version of Shredder here. Oh, man, this is going to be something. Man, Shredder definitely does deserve three seats at the round table. <laughs> definitely, he definitely does. Ah, what a time to be alive, I guess. To be a Ninja Turtles fan.